What bodies are going to suffer during this transition? Because everybody feels that right now everything is threatened, so it seems like our chip body is pronouncedly important because uh, it seems to, even though it's detached through the computer, it's intimate. You see people going to dating sites rather than going out and, and meeting people. I mean, this is kind of something that's a little bit off that I can do. No, it's very important what you just said. As usual, Evan, you don't even know what you're saying, but you're always right, you know. I mean, you're probe. You're a good intuitive. Um, you have the chemical body built up uh, with mechanical technology, literacy, and early electrical technology in the 19th, end of the 19th century, early 20th century. Then you have that absorbed into the TV landscape, and that later becomes the TV body. And then you have uh, what I call the astro body, which is just the cultural meme that there's more than this reality, and we call it God, or uh, Quetzalcoatl, or Isis, or Jesus, or Allah. There is something in humans that believes there's something more than this. That whole legacy, we could just review it when we read my little magazine article. Um, the uh, fact that the astral body is the religious impulse for saying people. Right. That is there. And then you have uh, the chip body, which comes in in the 90s because the chip landscape, which was built for the chip uh, computer landscape, digital landscape built from 60 to 90, starts to get shrunk in the, in the uh, 90s. Now, so you got the chemical body, the astral body, the TV body, and chip body. The chemical body got abused and wiped out in the 80s with the medical pharmaceutical companies. They said, we're not doing medicine anymore. We're just going to pump people with, bo with bodies. We're just going to prop up this useless little appendage called the chemical body. The astral body went nuts, and everybody claimed they were channeling or getting abducted and having astral ecstasies. And we know all about that. We get that on our bell or even on you yeah, interview yeah. some of these people. Yeah. And that's the crisis or extreme supernova of the astral body. And then you have the TV body. Well, by the time you get to 90s, you get Jerry Springer and people coming on spitting uh, spitting communicative insults into the people, into the audience. They don't even care about the TV effect. So TV had to take its clothes off by the early 90s just to stay in the game. TV body collapses by the end of the 90s. The chip body is the last body. It died in 2000, 2003. You could say with the Iraq war was the end of the chip body. We say, hey man, this guy went to war uh, with a, through lies. Hey, it wasn't lies. He had nothing to say to you guys. There's no communication, no truth possible, no information. Here's another expression. I know we have to take a break, but I'll just uh, move into this uh, after the break. The, the, the thing is, is that if the chip body being the last body, ah, what's everybody doing? They're on the little cell phones, iPhones, and computers day in, day out, because it's the last contact with reality that we remembered we had. But we're beyond that now. So it's the panic of the chip body is what is the last gasp right now. That's Bob. And it's 2008, and this is the way to start it off on a frickin' satellite rocket ship through the universe um, because uh, that's where you need to be to, to get this kind of perspective and get to be a part of the unknown an anonymous group. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And, uh, KPFK. I agree with that post by yes. Evan. <laughs> KPFK 90.7 <laughs> FM Los Angeles, you guys. Oh, 